So now it's time to make a video about a subject that I made a blog post about some time back, which you can find at the Wally School blog on the wallyanalog.com website. So the subject is azimuth angle and why we measure crosstalk electrically in order to optimize that angle. So it's important to understand why we do not optimize your azimuth angle optically and understand why it's not important that the cartridge should be level. For more on this point, be sure to watch our video on the world of the microscopic groove in stylus. This video is also important because it will give you an overview of the anatomy of the stylus cantilever assembly, so it might help to watch that video first. So you'll see this animation of a stylus cantilever assembly, and it's being modulated at a 45 degree angle by the right channel content of the groove. As the right channel is being modulated, the white coil formers are moving in the magnetic flux field and throwing off an electrical signal. You'll notice that the red coil formers, which correspond to the left channel signal, are simply spinning in the magnetic flux field, so they are throwing off an infinitesimally small signal. So all stylus cantilever assemblies are built with intolerances, and we cannot expect that all of them will be perfect. In fact, exceedingly few are. So if the coil former is slightly rotated so that it is not orthogonal to the 45 degree groove wall, then what will happen? As that same right channel signal is modulating the stylus, and moving the coil former. The white coil formers, which correspond to the right channel signal, are moving like before. So now that you'll see, as a result of this coil former misalignment, the opposite channel is now having its coils move ever so slightly in the magnetic flux field and throwing off a signal as well, even though the groove for that channel is not actually being modulated. This is crosstalk. And this is exactly why we only align our azimuth angle electrically, not visually. So for more on how to optimize this parameter for yourself, simply go to wallyanalog.com and go to the Wally School blog and search out the articles related to azimuth. So as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to us by email or by phone. We're happy to answer your questions. So there it is. Enjoy Analog Forever.